G'day folks. Well, I've cleaned up and dusted off the old uh, turret lathe and hooked it up to a uh, VFD. It's all semi-permanent. <laughs> I forgot to give you a proper, uh, I guess a bit of a tour of it. I picked this up probably three years ago, maybe four years ago. I don't have any uh, turret tooling at the moment, but it's on the way. It does fit 38.1mm uh, stainless bar, so I can make my own. And I've got all the clamps in a box somewhere. I've had it all apart, cleaned massive amounts of bronze chips out of it. Just lots of bronze swarf. It was just used for bronze work. And, uh, yeah, the turret didn't work, the feed didn't work, the power feed on this didn't work, nothing worked. It all does now, which is nice. Still a very, very heavily worn machine. It's made in 1938. I've got no idea who made it, although I believe it might have been Tarnow in Poland. Uh, it has the same hand wheels and things as a bigger Tarnow lathe that I've seen. So it could be a Polish pre-war lathe. But it's uh, still working now. Well, working after a bit of restoration. And unfortunately most of this rust and dirt is just my own neglect. But as you can see, you've got multi-station tailstock turret with like your drill, your reamer, your, or your drill, your countersink, your reamer, your tap, or whatever. You can mount your parting off tool here, your turning tool here, do your turning profile, bring it back, part it off after your, after your drilling operation. And that's about it. There's no compound uh, taper cut slide, no cross slide. Oh, sorry, there's cross slide, but there's no compound. But that's not to say I can't retrofit this with a compound wouldn't be too hard. Right now I'm just uh, ripping this old torque converter to bits. You can see it's quite rusty but for the hell of it I'm just sort of taking material off it before I part it in half. Pretty straightforward machine. All straight cut gears. No coolant pump yet. I do need a coolant pump. There's a motor. Made by Barter Industrial before the war, before the Second World War. dull insert and some very hard material. Yeah, the material I'm turning is pretty high grade steel. I just figured I'd rip a bit off the face there, but with a dull insert, still rip through it. I've got a nice, relatively smooth finish. 
does the job. <laughs> Love the sparks that come off when you hit some really hard steel. Like it's pretty hard stuff. Anyway, that's your little uh, tour of the turret lathe and hopefully since it's exposed I'll keep it ready to go and clean and uh, do a few more videos of uh, turning projects with it. Thanks for watching.